spike of interest in bodybuilding and gymming, especially amongst youngsters here in Grahamstown, those who are trying to make first team or whatever the case may be. So we're trying to look at Grahamstown businesses that sell supplements to these youngsters and exactly how do these businesses flourish. At the same time, we're going to speak to a few of these gym freaks to see what it is that they do and where they get the supplements that they take to be as big and built and strong. So the first person we're going to speak to is Azizi Pomongo. See what he has to say about gymming and being a gym freak. Um, I was inspired by a friend of mine in high school. I was, in, I think, I was in grade. 11, no grade 10 actually, I was in, under 16. So I, was, I wasn't much of a gym freak kind of thingy, but then as a rugby player, obviously you have to gym, have strength and all of that. So I wasn't much into gym until he told me that if you want to make first team, then obviously you have to gym, be a bit hardcore. <laughs> Yeah, um, obviously at this stage you have to use like protein, but um, my diet is mostly made up of protein and carbs. So I use whey protein now and again. So that's the only thing I use, but mainly I get my nutrition or yeah, nutrition from diet. Abs and thigh, please. Your abs and thigh. So we're outside KSC to find out what it is that keeps this business alive. It's a business that sells supplements and rents out musical instruments. We're here to speak to the owner to find out what it is that actually keeps this business flourishing. Let's go check it out. supplements to the other kids, um, making a little bit of extra pocket money from the then local, it was um, uh, called Muscle Mania, was the, the supplement shop in Grahamstown at the time. Um, and so when that shop eventually closed, um, I had a music shop already up and running. And so because I had um, a little bit of experience in, in the field of selling supplements and also um, done quite a lot of research about nutrition and supplements and also studied biochemistry at Rhodes. Um, so that, uh, it was sort of like an open market and also something that interested me quite a lot. And so that's, that's how I got into um, selling, selling supplements and that's how I got to um, having the stuff here in this premises. There was recently another supplement shop just down the road um, and I think probably one of their biggest problems why they closed down is um, yet again the same thing with the economy and whatever but they were going in only selling supplements and being a small town um, just selling uh, these products isn't really enough to, uh, to keep a shop open so um, we've had to be quite diverse, we've had to hire out musical equipment, we've had to sell musical equipment um, and then also doing the supplements at the same time. So it's, it's unfortunately not enough to uh, be sustainable in and of itself, but as a supporting factor it can be, um, it's, it's got its place. So according to the business here being KSC, the owner says in order for a business to survive here in Grahamstown, you have to have a trade as well. So if you're selling supplements, you can't just sell supplements alone. You have to sell something else, where in his case, he sells instruments. So we're going to head out to Muscle Factory to find out if this is the case for them as well. So let's go and check it out. 
the reason that I started this business was most probably because I'm really into the industry, like of gymming and that, and also I'm with supplements. I'm really keen on that as well. Well, I, I would say our target is obviously Grampson. There's a lot of students here. And for a small town, like, I think there's a lot of people that actually like gym. Um, so yeah, I think I'd say the students and, and obviously the private schools as well. Um, they also bring quite a bit of uh, business to, especially on the supplement side. Because with, uh, with the gym and that they do have their own gyms at schools, but with the supplements, we, we do have quite a good market with them as well. Um, I would say that uh, well, our, gym, our gym and Rhodes are probably the only two commercial gyms in Grahamstown. Um, and then I know there's Ultra Fitness which focuses more on like one-on-one -on -one training and like someone being with you and helping you all the time where yeah you can come and like there's machines that you can use and that and you don't really need any guidance like to use them and that so I'd say that our market is a bit different to theirs like so I'd say yeah we, we're a commercial gym. Yesterday we spoke to the guys at KSC and Muscle Factory and today we've decided to make a stop at UF to speak to Rowan who happens to own the gym and sell supplements too. We just want to understand how he runs his business in Grahamstown. So let's go check it out. I saw there's a gap in the market for proper fitness training you know like there is commercial gyms here but there is they don't sell results you understand the people aren't really up to date with the new trends in fitness so i uh, open up the gym okay sure so we basically just started with me and my friend who was a personal trainer and he was personal training clients um, i'm not qualified but he was and obviously we started getting profit and the place grew and invested all the profit back into the business and it is what it is today. Okay, so in terms of supplements, in South Africa supplements aren't really regulated, but in um, America there's the FTA, which is the Food and Drug Association, and they regulate supplements. So meaning that whatever's on the label is inside of the tub. And the supplements that I do sell here, which is Nutritech, they are FTA approved by the independent labs in America. So that's different towards the other supplements like, that you get at the competition in the town, you know? Because whatever's in the tub might not be like on the label. So after speaking to Ryan here at UFH, we can conclude that for a business to survive, a supplement business, one has to offer another trade. At KSC they sold instruments, Muscle Factory also had a gym, and UFH over here offers personal training, a gym, dietary advice, and selling supplements. So we can conclude that here in Grahamstown, supplement businesses, do, they do survive and they do thrive. 